family. A little awkward, sometimes weird, loud and crazy. Wait, did I say normal? Oops, my bad. Stick around, get to know us. Cheyenne and Tyree. This is Savannah. I'm Michelle. And this is the Shell Bill Life. Ooh, it's super early, you guys. Oh my goodness, the light is bothering my eyes. Anyway, today is Thursday, it's the day after Savannah's graduation. And this video is going to be a little flipped because I vlogged a little bit the days before Savannah's graduation, but I wanted to put her graduation video and the pictures in one video so you guys will see that before you guys see this. So we're going to go backwards a little bit and you guys are going to watch that and then come back. Hello everyone, it is Saturday and I am just here not doing a whole lot at all. We did go to the, I keep saying adoption place. I don't know what else to call it with Boston today. We came home with him. Nobody wanted him. <laughs> Cheyenne was like, that's because he's ugly. She's so rude. He's cute ugly. He's my little dirty Oreo. Anyway, um, not doing a whole lot today. I'm just having some personal issues going on and I'm having trouble with the women at work. And so when I get home, I don't even want to vlog. Just want to shut down. That's basically what I do every day when I come home. And yeah, I've just not been depressed, but just been in a weird state of mind. And I haven't picked up the camera. So yeah. Anyway, I'm just sitting here catching up on my YouTube subscriptions. And I am actually uploading a video right now because I vlogged here and there throughout the last couple of weeks, but I have not posted anything because I just haven't felt, not, I won't say the need, I just haven't felt like it. I just haven't felt like it, you guys, and I'm sorry. Um, I keep saying I'm gonna do better and then I go through these mood swings or whatever. Yes, I'm moody, yeah, if you guys didn't know that about me. <laughs> so, yeah, but not a whole lot is going on right now other than me uploading a video. Shines at work, Tyreek is, Gating and Savannah is watching um, I guess something on Netflix called the society or something like that she told me that I should watch because it's really good I don't know I don't even know if that's really what it's called so yeah you guys I cannot believe in four days four days Savannah will graduate high school she's officially done but it'll be officially official when she um oh my goodness I'm about to cry can't believe I've been so emotional lately, you guys, and just there's just things that are going on. Um, some bad, some good. I've just been on this emotional roller coaster ride. Oh my goodness. And it's not like she's leaving me today or anything like that. But just the fact that she's growing up, I don't know. I can't explain it. I'm a big baby, I'm so sorry. And I know that there's gonna come a time where they are, where, how do we get on this subject, how? Anyway, I know there's gonna come a time where all three of them are gone, I get that. And actually, <laughs> I'm kinda happy about that. It doesn't mean I'm not sad but they have to go on with their lives and discover themselves and do things on their own. They can't always be up under me. Mm -mm. So yeah, and I am having to not refine myself. I don't know, maybe it is that, just find who I am again without my kids. How did we get on this subject? Tell me guys how, I don't know. Anyway, enough of this. I'm gonna have enough tears on Wednesday because I just am, just because that's just me. 
Savannah's in Cheyenne's room watching TV and it just got really loud. Never ending laundry. Let me show you guys. Look at all this. And that's not even my clothes. Should have started this earlier, but I don't know. Just wasn't thinking of it. All the towels are dirty, of course. Then they come in the room to use mine. Okay. Put the tie pods in. Look at this you guys look at this it should not take this long to upload a video this is crazy ever since i went with another carrier i had comcast and their internet was amazing but i had it for my home phone and then cable and internet and no one usually called me on the home phone no one really watched cable all of us mainly watch netflix so I'm like, why am I paying all this extra money for stuff we don't even use? So I was going to just knock it down to the basic internet plan, but they were still pricey. So I went with somebody else and this is what I get. Super slow internet, but then yet I complain. But I switched over. Hurry up. So you guys, I'm actually watching our Disney World vlogs and I miss it so much. I want to go back, y'all. Oh, I want to go back. I want to go back. If you guys have not seen our Disney World vlogs, please go and look at them. We had an amazing time, and I enjoyed sharing it with you, so definitely go look at our Disney World vlogs. On our way to the Little Mermaid um, area. Go check it out. Oh, my goodness. We're going to have to come out here. Look at his butt, you guys. We're about to take him out. And he's trying to eat, but he's excited at the same time because we need to get him some more food. He's out. Yeah. But make sure it's on there because, yeah. Okay. Are you ready? What language is this in? It's like German or something. Oh my goodness, he's so excited. He act like he ain't never been nowhere. Come on. So now we're going inside PetSmart. Look at the birds. You guys, when the kids were little, they had birds. They had fishes. What else you guys had? You guys had a turtle. rat, a turtle, rabbit. two rabbits, like all at the same time. Because we couldn't have dogs in the apartment. Yeah, we couldn't have dogs in the apartment that we were in, so we had other kind of animals. And look at these birds. You know what? I miss having birds, you guys. <laughs> look at this one. Hello. What are you doing? It has something on its ankle. The Boston is afraid of this hat. That's it. Good morning, everyone. It is Thursday. Savannah graduated high school yesterday. Y'all, I was so emotional. I was crying like a big old baby all day long. And anyway, you guys, so we are on our way for a day trip where I'm headed to right now. You'll see when we get there and it's just going to be the four of us. So yeah.
garage, not really. I paid for parking when I was at home. And now we're going to walk to, oh, we're in San Francisco, by the way, if you haven't figured it out. And we're about to walk to Pier 39. On the table they're not afraid and there's one inside the restaurant there Tyreek is getting something to eat yeah. Savannah berry. gave him a blackberry I think he's scared to take it yep you just wasted it and his toe is messed up yeah I think he's scared Savannah oh yeah we probably have to use their bathroom huh Tyreek so he just killed fries. Um, yes. So, can you guys guess where we are on our way to? We're standing in line. This is for Savannah, and now she doesn't want to go. Oh, they didn't. This is the boat. So excited. Oh, look how it's moving, Savannah. Are you worried? Don't be worried. There's bathrooms on the boat. Okay. No, we gotta go. Why are you screaming? No. Can y'all stop walking Savannah. Oh my gosh. She's scared. Are you okay? She's really. You okay, Savannah? You okay? <laughs> I don't think we have a choice. I don't think I don't think we have a choice. I think so. I don't. I think we have to follow them. Cheyenne, keep going. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, we have to go up. I think we just have to go upstairs. Oh, we where the motor is. So we at the top. You wanna, okay. Just stay here, baby. Let her sit by, oh. <laughs> Just let her sit there. Just sit on the No. Thank you, Cheyenne. My poor baby, she is really terrified. Savannah, we will be fine. We will be fine. <laughs> and we're off. It's like the what? This one, look at her face. <laughs> she is really worried. She's holding Savannah's hand. I mean, Cheyenne's hand. He will be fine. <laughs> Savannah, don't you think they know where they're going? She said they're taking the wrong way. <laughs> oh my gosh, Savannah is hilarious, you guys. It's right there, Savannah. We're headed right over there. We got to swim to get there. Oh no, I would die. Oh, these waters getting rocky. Uh -huh. Whoa. Look at these waters. Thank you. 
You're from Mars? Well, actually yeah. from Australia, New York. Any more international folks? Paris? We are on Alcatraz. We bought a park map. They were $1. And now we're going straight to the sale house for the audio tour. inside a real live actual prison. Showers, yes. What? I don't know. These are the showers, you guys. Look at this. So we have our headphones so we can hear the tour and we're going upstairs.
Okay, everyone, it is eight o'clock. We are back home. I have showered. I am going to relax. I am going to probably just end it here because I'm super tired. But before I go, the reason why we went to San Francisco today was just for one reason, Alcatraz. And if you don't know what Alcatraz is, it's, as you've seen in the video, it's a prison that no longer runs. No more prisoners are there anymore. It's a high security, it was a high security prison. I guess they housed the worst of the worst there. So Al Capone is like one of the most famous ones you guys will hear about. Machine Gun Kelly, Robert Stroud, I think that's his name, Alvin Carpus, something like that. So anyway, but I mean, they weren't the only four people there, but they were the, I think the main ones who tried to escape. So if I remember correctly, the reason why they shut the prison down is because it was supposed to be so high security that no one could escape and anything like that. The guys that did escape, I personally think that they drowned. Um, it's not known what happened to them. If you don't know the story about Alcatraz, look it up. There's a lot of movies about it. It's a total true story. If you don't know anything about it, look it up, research it, and it's very fascinating so yeah I personally think the ones who escaped that they died because those waters are choppy those waters have sharks in it and even a strong swimmer would have issues swimming from the island to back into San Francisco into the city so I personally think they died um, there was theories of maybe someone was waiting with the boat or whatever I mean anything's possible but I don't know maybe they would have you would have heard about them maybe you would have seen them somewhere I don't know there's all kinds of conspiracy theories about that I personally think they died what do you guys think if you know the story of Alcatraz what do you guys think happened to those men who escaped when I was blogging there it was quiet a lot or the reason why I wasn't really saying anything is because I had my headphones on I was trying to listen to the audio tour when I edited if I remember what was being said to me at that time I'll put it in there it gave me the creeps it was like freezing cold in there and it, I mean it's a prison when they start explaining how things were run there and the night of the escape and all that I mean it was eerie but I wanted to go visit Havana wanted to go visit and so we did we took a day trip there and what else oh and the older gentleman that you've seen Savannah talking to so his name is William G Baker he was an actual prisoner at Alcatraz he's an old man now but I bought his book and he signed it for me and Savannah bought a signed copy also so this is the book and I showed this a little bit before but this was him when he was at Alcatraz and I'm assuming this was his prison number because you know they're you know they give them numbers and he signed it and I told him I said he said what's your name young lady I said Michelle with one L he said okay Michelle with one L so he signed it and then um, signed his name in today's date but yeah this tells the story of his life and what he did to get in there and his experience in Alcatraz so yeah 
that was him that you seen Savannah talking to and I even took a picture with him and if I remember I'll insert a clip it was fun to take the day trip but I'm exhausted I'm tired because if you ever been to Alcatraz you have to walk up a steep like a steep incline to get to the actual cell house where you hear the audio tour there's other things to do on the island as well i mean it's not a straight incline but it zigzags it was just exhausting i don't think i told you guys so after savannah's graduation well you guys seen in the video we did go out to eat and after that they had what's called sober grad night and their school has this and all the seniors went out and they went to a water park and they just had fun. They had a hypnotist there, hypnotist, whatever you call those people, um, bounce houses for kids. I'm sure that's fun. They had go-karts. What else does Savannah tell me? Um, laser tag. All their food was free. Um, well, it was free, but I paid 90 bucks for her to go to sober grad night. So technically it wasn't free, but once you paid everything that they supplied you was free it was all night Cheyenne dropped her off at the school at 7 so she said they got there maybe around 8 50 so almost 9 o'clock and they were there until Savannah called me around 4 15 maybe or 4 30 to go get them they were on their way to the school so yeah that's what she did last night and I almost forgot to show you guys this. Forget my fan. You guys know I always have my fan on. I call it the wind tunnel. It's noisy, but it's hot. We came back from 61 degree weather. Let me turn you guys around to tell you this. So the high today there was 61, and the lady said that was pretty warm for them. And we're all shivering like chihuahuas, and we're like, this is warm for you guys? It's freezing. People were walking around in shorts and just without a jacket, but if you live there, I guess you're used to it. Anyway, so before we went on the ferry, we all took pictures. This is the picture that they have on this side, and then this was just a like a backdrop or whatever that we took the picture on, but it came out good. And so, yeah, see how we were bundled up? 61 degrees, warm, Mm -mm. It was freezing. Okay, keep still so you guys can see it. My fan is blowing it. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I remembered one thing that I was supposed to tell you guys. So my brother and my sister-in-law got me a card on Savannah's graduation. You guys, I started bawling. I'm like, it's not about me. It's about her today. And they're like, no, you got your three kids through. So me and my sister-in-law, her name is Marche, but we call each other sister. So... This is the card, it says congratulations, and made me money for the Cheesecake Factory, which is ironic because we ate at the Cheesecake Factory, um, but that was Savannah that picked that. And it says, congrats sister, job well done. You got your three babies to the finish line. I could not have, I could not be more ecstatic for you as such an undertaking was likely more than a notion at times. Congrats, love ya, have dinner on us. And it says, time like these are worth celebrating. So happy for you. And this is my brother's handwriting. Job well done. Love you. And he signed his name there. So isn't that sweet, you guys, that they gave me something on Savannah's graduation? So, yeah. This made me cry so much. I was a big baby on her graduation day, y'all. Okay, you guys. So I am really going to end it here. I am exhausted. I feel like I'm slurring my words because I'm so tired and I can't think. I think you guys know that when I vlog and I'm tired, I ramble and sometimes I don't think I make sense. Because when I edit the videos, I'm like, why did I say that? What, what? And so I'll just take it out completely. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please do me a favor. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.